question. Thou was not with them when they cast lots with pens, as to which of them sh should be charged with the care of Mary, nor was thou with them when they disputed the point. Behold, the angel said, O Mary, Allah hath given the glad tidings of a word from him. His name will be Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter, and of the company of those nearest to Allah. He shall speak to the people in childhood and in maturity, and he shall be of the company of those righteous. She said, O oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man hath touched me? He said, Even so, Allah createth what he willeth, and when he hath decreed a matter, he but saith to it, Be, and it is. Surah Allah Azim. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon to you all. Tonight, myself and all the Muslim community, it is a dream come true. Having said Ahmad did not come to Australia to speak to us in person. I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this great blessing and pray that he makes tonight a success. The sixth visit and tonight's lecture would not have been possible without the support of many people. Some of the costs of this tour are to be made by the Center for Islamic Dawah and Education. And the Islamic Council of New South Wales has also contributed. The most important support, however, come from the many brothers and sisters who have given so freely of their time and efforts to organize this tour. Without their help, we couldn't have achieved so much. My thanks go to them all. Tonight has shown us that Muslims can plan, can organize, and can achieve if the intention is right and sincere. Say Ahmad Didad has come to explain to the Christians of Australia what Islam is really about. He has also shown us Muslims how we can carry out our duty to call to others to Islam. This is truly Tawa. Most importantly of all, he has shown us that Muslims can be proud of their faith as, as followers of the one true God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to whom all the praise is due. On behalf of you all, I would like to welcome Sheikh Ahmad Didad and thank him for coming to speak to us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brothers and sisters, please welcome Sheikh Ahmad Dinan. Alhamdulillahi wahda. Wa salatu wa salamu ala man la nabi ba'da. Allahumma ya mufattuhu al-abwaab, wa ya musabibu al-asbab, wa ya dalil al-hairin. Tawakkaltu alayka ya rabbul alameen. Mr. Chairman and my dear brothers and sisters, the topic, Christ in Islam. When for the very first time I mooted this subject in my own city of Durban and I had a lecture delivered in the city hall and when we advertised this topic there was a consternation among the Christians in my country. That here is somebody coming along to produce another Christ. And at the very beginning of my talk in the city hall, I had to assure that part of my audience who were Christians that we Muslims have not got another Christ. There is only one Christ and that is Jesus Christ. I have to assure them, calm them. So, where do we get this idea from about Jesus and the Christ? We go to the, our book of authority, the Muslim. He goes to the Holy Quran. And I am suggesting to my brothers and sisters that each and every one of you, you need a copy of the Holy Quran, a translation like the one I have in my hand. 
This is by Abdullah Yusuf Ali. This book here has got the Arabic text, English translation and commentary. And it has a very comprehensive index. Makes things easy for you. Anything that you want to know in this book of God, you have everything on your fingertips. You remember, on Friday, I gave a talk here. And I mentioned about Jesus. The Jesus is mentioned in this volume 500% more times than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Something unimaginable. You can't imagine. A man goes and writes a book and he, he, he keeps himself out of it. He's promoting Jesus. Jesus 500% more time than himself. Does it make sense? Which writer, which biographer, authority, writer will do a thing like that? No, no. This is not his work. If it was his work, then naturally he would have promoted himself. But now I said 500% more times. You remember that? Those of you who were here. Can somebody give me the figure? How many times is Jesus mentioned in this book of God? Please put up your hand. Don't shout. Just please put up your hand. I want you to present you with a book. How many times is Jesus mentioned in the Quran? Yes, my child. You, huh? Huh? 25 is right. Is mentioned in the Quran five times total. Four times as Muhammad and one time as Ahmad, which is an, an alternative way of naming of the Prophet. Altogether five. Jesus, 25. Amazing, this book. Now where are you going to find this? In this encyclopedia of 2000 pages, you're going to start paging through, looking for Jesus, Jesus. Jesus and you might have missed them all. All 25, you might not have come across a single one of them. No, what you do is you go to the index. At the back of this volume, there's a very comprehensive index. You go to the index and just like a dictionary, look for Jesus and the J. Everything about Jesus in the Quran. On your fingertips. I'm opening the index. Starts the first item. The first item, Jesus. Under the heading Jesus, a righteous prophet. He's a true prophet of God. Chapter 6, verse 85. Second item, his birth. Mentioned in two places. In Surah Ali Imran, chapter 3, ayah 42 onwards. Chapter 19, verses 23 onwards. And on and on and on. Everything about Jesus on your fingertip. You don't have to start fumbling through, paging through, looking for Jesus or for Muhammad or for Moses for that matter. You'll get the shock of your life. When I tell you this, another mighty messenger of God, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, we call him Moses, the holy prophet Moses. I can't imagine anybody guessing. How many times is he mentioned in this book? The prophet of the Jews. No, no, he's our prophet. But the so-called, they say he's the prophet of the Jews. All right, the prophet of the Jews. How many times is Moses mentioned in this book? I don't know what to give you. This book is too little. Anybody can tell me or anywhere near enough? Moses, how many times is Moses mentioned in this book? Huh? How much? 52. Anybody else? Not likely. I will give you this Quran at the end of the talk. If you can give me anywhere 10, within 10 of that number, within 10. Forget, forget the exact number. Please don't shout. Just put up your hand. You. Huh? Another 100 times. You. Huh? Hundred and twenty, hundred and twenty. Come, 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 come. No, it looks like I'll have to take this Quran back home to South Africa. <laughs> One hundred and thirty-six times. One hundred and thirty-six times the Holy Prophet Moses is mentioned in this book.